Welcome to yoga. Meet me in full wind. Shift your weight over to one side and roll down onto your side, then onto your back. When you're working on your deep core and your pelvic floor and healing even diastasis recti, remember always, always, always roll over to one side every single time you want to get up or lay down. That's going to protect your core and help you heal a lot faster. Speaking of diastasis recti, let's check. Take your feet flat on the mat with your knees bent, hip distance. Take one hand behind your head and the other hand on your navel. Then firm up your core and lift your chest up, chin up as if you were doing a crunch, not crunching forward, but lifting up. And you should feel now with the fingertips on your navel, press up and down, and you may feel a gap above or below your belly button. So feel around there as you hold that crunch. And if you feel a gap, Take your fingers and point them down towards your pubic bone and see how many fingers can you fit in that gap. Anything more than two fingers is considered a diastasis recti, which means that it is a split in the six pack muscles that run along the center of your abdomen. If you feel like you have this or you cannot find it or you need help, please, please refer to your OB or your midwife or any professional physician that can help you find this and then find the exercises that you need specifically to heal it. So whether or not you have diastasis recti, the gap between your abs, these next couple of exercises are going to be so essential for building your deep core, engaging your pelvic floor, and if you have diastasis recti, it'll help seal that up. With your feet flat on the ground, firm up your belly. Remember, you wanna draw your navel in and feel everything get nice and firm underneath your fingertips. Then take an inhale and relax, let your belly puff up. Exhale to firm it up, pull your navel in and begin to tilt your pelvis so your pubic bone starts rolling towards you, flattening out your lower back on the mat. Inhale to release that pelvic tilt. Let your belly puff up. Exhale to firm it up. Tilt your pelvis. Draw your navel in. Two more like that. Inhale, belly puffs up. Release the pelvic tilt. There's space underneath your lower back. Exhale to firm it up. Tighten the space between your lower back. Pelvic tilts towards you. Last one, inhale to release and your belly puffs up. Exhale, pelvic tilt and firm it up. Well done. Then from here, you can take your hands to your thighs or have one hand on your belly for a reference point. We're gonna do stomach vacuums from your back. So from here, you'll inhale, then exhale, push everything out of your lungs As you do so, pull your navel in towards your spine. Keep on going, keep on going until there's nothing left and then seal it off holding your breath and then engage your body as if you were sucking in air. So create suction and feel the space underneath your ribs, your diaphragm hollow out and your navel is pulling in even harder towards your lower back. Release, breathe naturally, completely relax. Well done. We're gonna do that two more times and it is really challenging. So listen to your body. And if you need to release before we do, that's okay. Inhale. Exhale everything from your lungs and as you do so, pull your navel in towards your spine. At the bottom of your exhale, hold your breath and then create that suction and hollow it out. Release and breathe, you're doing great. One more time, inhale, then exhale. Everything from your lungs as you draw your navel in all the way at the bottom of your exhale, seal it off, create that suction and hold the stomach vacuum for three, two, one, release. That was it. 
So now that you can feel your core, take your hands down by your sides and lift your knees up into reverse tabletop. So your knees are right above your hips and your shins are parallel with the ground. Keep your core firm. So lower back is pressing into the mat, navel is pulled in, so your whole belly area is engaged. And it's most important that it stays that way through this next exercise. So from here, inhale and exhale, tap your right toes down towards the mat. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, tap your left toes down towards the mat. Inhale back to center and keep going with your breath, slow and controlled, alternating toe taps. And if this feels like it's a little much for you, then you can modify with your feet down on the ground, alternating as you lift your knee towards you and then lower your foot back down, alternating as you lift and lower and so on. For three, two, yes, yoga teachers know how to count, one, release, take both feet flat on the mat, hip distance apart, arms down by your sides, fingers can barely graze your heels, firm up your core, draw your navel in, tuck your pelvis, your lower back flattens out. Then using your back, glutes, and legs, lift your hips up slowly and smoothly as your knees press forward and your spine peels up off the mat, hips pressing up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale to slowly lower your back and your hips all the way down. Inhale as you peel everything back up into a bridge lift, knees pressing forward. Come all the way up. Exhale as you slowly lower, coming all the way down. And do that a couple more times with your breath. But what's really important here is that you're really using and engaging the muscles in your glutes, your hamstrings, and your back. As you do so, your pelvic floor is strengthening. Your back, part of your core, is helping to support you. And your chest is beginning to open as well. So make sure your weight is pressing down evenly through your feet. Make sure your knees are pressing forward, not splaying open. For three, two, one. Slowly release, come all the way down. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. Take one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Relax everything, even your breath and thank yourself for showing up today. You're doing great. You're welcome to stay here or make your way to a final Shavasana, taking your legs out long, arms out long. A moment just for you to soak in everything that you gain from this practice. And begin to shift your awareness to the day ahead, to the moment when you step off your mat. And consider the intention that you wanna take with you. What's the intention that you wanna set for your day today? Let it be easy. Whatever comes to your mind, whatever comes natural to you. And then take your time as you roll over onto one side and use your hands to press yourself up to seated. And bring your hands together at heart center and take a big breath in through your nose. Out through your nose and repeat after me, I am strong. In through your nose. Exhale it out, I am doing great. In through your nose. Out through your nose, I am exactly where I need to be. I'm exactly who I need to be. Namaste.